What we have here today is an exceptionally rare scientific instrument produced in Persia in the Safavid period at around 1700, which enables the user to determine the exact direction and distance to Mecca from any of the cities within the Islamic world listed on its base plate. The challenge of determining the exact bearing to one particular place was a unique problem for Muslims due to the requirement for them to face Mecca during prayer. Ultimately, it provides a quick and simple to use manifestation of exceptionally complex mathematical tables compiled by Timurid mathematicians in the 15th century, and it is in itself a masterwork of Islamic science. The instrument is the finest and most complete of only three examples. The discovery of the first example in 1989 marked a turning point in our understanding of Islamic cartography. It is not only a complicated scientific instrument, but its appearance is also extremely beautiful. The instrument is made up of a circular base plate on which the world map is engraved with a compass surmounted by a hinged sundial. Once the sundial has been hinged back, we can see the world map engraved as a series of points on an elliptical grid with Mecca at its center. The map positions Mecca not only at its geographical center, but in a wider sense, places the Middle East as the intellectual, artistic, and scientific focal point of the world. So in order to determine the Qibla, the person must first consider which city they're in in the Islamic world. So we can use, for example, Cordoba over out here on the far west of the map. And you simply need to turn the diametric rule in the center to pass through the spot which represents Cordoba. And here, from Cordoba to Mecca in the middle, we have the distance. And here at this end, we have the Qibla or the bearing to Mecca. Around the world map, three cartouches engraved and chased with elegant Nastaliq inscriptions give instructions to the user, whilst the fourth denotes the names of the maker and the patron of the piece. Through the beauty of his craft, Hussein has created a world on this page, through the auspiciousness of the fortune of Saif al-Dawla, who holds the light of the world. This expanse, which depicts the earth and sky, turns its face to the south pole like the flight of the indigo bird. If you place the diametrical rule at the point corresponding to the latitude and longitude of a city, you will be shown the Qibla and the distance of the town from the Qibla. If you align the local latitude with the plate for the hours, the shadow of the gnomon will be your guide for establishing the hour. The instrument has a fascinating ownership history. We know from the inscriptions on the piece that it was made by Hussein for a patron identified as Sayyaf al-Dawla, who was presumably an important Safavid courtier, nobleman, or public official. It has subsequently been on long-term loan to the Harvard Museum for over 15 years, and more recently at the Nelson Atkins Museum in Kansas. It's featured in numerous prestigious exhibitions and is published by Professor David King's comprehensive study on the three known examples. Produced during the golden age of Persian history, it exemplifies the pinnacle of Islamic cartography and science, providing a simple solution to the daily requirements of the devoted Muslim. It is an unparalleled and exceptionally rare masterpiece of Safavid science and artistry, and this, coupled with its rich provenance and exhibition history, make it arguably the most important Islamic scientific instrument ever to come to market. <laughs>